Hi guys and welcome to my channel Crafty Ella. My name is Gabby and today I'm going to be showing you how I made these Halloween shaker wands. So I'm using Cricut Design Space. We're going to open up a new project and we're going to look up at the images and search Dracula frame. That first image is the one we're going to use. So once we import it into our work screen, we're going to size the height to 4 inches and ungroup the image. We're, we're not going to need the Dracula. So we just need these three pieces, but now we're going to create the elevating piece, which is going to be the foam and the acetate piece. So to do that, we're going to take one of the frames and we're going to duplicate it and put it on top of the other. So as you can see, I'm just trying to make a border, you know, putting, stacking the images on top of each other. And then I'm just going to slice. So once we have the image sliced, we're going to take the pieces we don't need and delete them. And we're left with this. So to delete those excess pieces we don't need, you could do contour and hide all those pieces. But I prefer it to be easier um, by slicing. So all you need is a square. And you're basically just going to shape it to the size of the pieces on the edge. And we're just slicing and slicing and deleting, slicing and deleting. So that's all I'm doing here until all the pieces on the outside are gone. Okay, so now that we're done slicing, we're going to um, duplicate it and select height contour. And we're going to hide the inside piece so it's a solid piece. That will be our acetate that will hold our shakers in. And I'm just going to change the color so I can know what, what is what. And I'm also changing the color of the foam piece. Because I want to cut everything on a separate um, paper and material. So once you hit save, now we're going to go ahead and cut out all our pieces. Alright guys, so here we go. Um, I cut out two of the background pieces, the orange and the white back uh, pattern paper, and that's going to be for the base. So what we're going to do is using our, I use the glitter glue, and I'm just going to glue the first two pieces together, which is basically the top of the shaker. It's going to be the face of our shaker wand. So once we've done that, we're going to add our foam piece to the background. So um, I'm going to use this silicone liquido. It's basically cold liquid hot glue. Um, and I get it from Martha's Creations on Instagram. I will link her down below. So we're going to add the glue to one side of the foam piece. Alright guys, so now we're going to glue it down to our background piece. And I like this glue because it gives you some um, time to move it around and make it perfect. And we're going to sit that, sit that down and let it dry for a little. Alright guys, it's time for the fun part. Well, the first fun part which is adding in our sequins. Here you can add your sequin mixes. I'm making my own using some shaped spiders and spider webs, some sequins, and I am adding this glitter, chunky glitter from Michaels. And I will also be adding for noise. I like to add the micro beads. So I'm adding some white ones and some black ones. I love the black ones for Halloween. All right, now that you guys have your shaker mix in there, we're gonna seal everything with an acetate piece. So I had I used the Cricut brand um, acetate and I cut it in the Cricut and it cuts wonderfully. Um, so I'm gonna be using the same glue, cold, cold hot glue that I get, and you guys can use 
a really strong liquid glue is what I would recommend so you're just gonna apply it on the top layer of the foam and you're gonna press down the acetate and as you can see it's just gonna glue on the border leaving a little window so we're just gonna make sure the glue is adhered well and we have a good seal so none of the shaker elements fall out and now we're gonna add more glue on the border on top of the acetate and now we are going to be adding the face of our shaker wand so as you can see when you put the front of the shaker wand you can no longer see any of the glue or the foam piece which is so cool so you can just see a window of shaker goodness so now it's time to let that dry and while it dries we're gonna do the backer piece and for the backer piece we can customize it we can put our handmade by sticker or stamp and I'm gonna be um, just putting a sentiment that says happy Halloween and the stamp set is from artsy and I'm using my homemade embossing buddy which I love to remove the static so the embossing powder doesn't go all over the place and I'm gonna stamp with Versamark ink and emboss with purple embossing powder Okay, so now the shaker is dry and set. It looks amazing. I love it. And now I'm going to start embellishing. You could leave it like that if you want, but I just love embellishing and over embellishing. So I'm just adding some washi tape and I want to add this cute, cute witch. And I'm just going to be adding some embellishments. And you can leave your shaker like this if you want but since we're making wands today i'm gonna be adding a straw to it in a minute so i like to embellish my shaker before i put it on the straw so now i'm adding a pipe cleaner because it just adds a moving a moving element to the um, shaker wand i just love it because when you shake it the pipe cleaner jiggles and you can um, put anything you want to dangle or you could just put the pipe cleaner and not anything on the pipe cleaner if you know what I mean so there's a pipe cleaner all glued down and it looks so cute but like I said, I like embellishing and over embellishing. So I'm going to add some stuff to the pipe cleaner. And I'm adding this cute, cute spider. And I also added like a little bling piece to the curly side. Because I felt like there was nothing else that could look cute there. So most of the embellishments are either from Michael's or um, my friend Gina. Hi Gina from Crafty by Nature here on YouTube. She sent me some happy mail last year and I got a lot of these embellishments from her. Okay, so now it's time to turn this embellishment into a wand and I will be doing that by adding a straw and since I didn't really like any of the Halloween ones, I tried a silver one and to make it go with the theme of this embellishment, I'm just going to add some adhesive ribbon and this ribbon is from Michaels and I'm just adding it in a twisty motion. 
and I'm going to add some glue to the bottom end just so that it doesn't unstick and for the top end I'm just gonna flatten it a little bit and that's where I'm gonna put the glue and I'm gonna use hot glue to attach it to the top part of the wand Okay, so now I'm going to cover the straw with the backer piece and I'm just going to add glue to the sides so that it sticks well on the side and I'm going to add hot glue in the area where the straw is and I'm just going to attach it. And I really like adding a tassel to my wands. I just love the way they look. So I'm just getting random pieces of ribbon and cutting them to random lengths. And I'm just going to fold them in half and attach them to the bottom of the embellishment where it meets with the straw. So for this part, I'm attaching some tinsel trim and this is just regular Christmas tree tinsel and I just love, love, love tinsel guys. I've been obsessed with it lately and um, yeah, I'm just wrapping it around the top of the tassel part and I just love how it came out. So I'm just putting the final touches of embellishing on my wand and I'm almost done and I will show you guys some more that I've been making so you guys can see you can adapt this to any season or any style that you like to craft with. And here is the final result of my Halloween themed ones. As you can see, they are so adorable. You can stick them in your loaded pockets or loaded envelopes, in your pocket letters, or just like that. And here are some more that I made. And as you can see, they are made in different themes, different colors. And I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. As you can see, you can adapt this to any season or any shape. I just really happen to like this shape for Halloween that I found in my Cricut library. But if you have nesting dies that you want to use, then you know those are ideal because all you need is a border for your craft foam and your acetate to keep your sequins and um, shaker elements from falling out. Um, but these are fairly easy and it's just basically a shaker embellishment with a straw and that makes it a wand and I just love how they came out and I hope you guys love them too and 
if you guys have any more ideas for halloween that you guys would like to see in this channel please leave a comment down below and i will tend to it as soon as i can okay guys so that's it for today thank you guys so so much for watching and see you guys in the next video bye bye